He's the man behind every Royals radio broadcast and only the second engineer and producer the team has ever had. Now, after more than three decades with the team, Don Free is saying goodbye. But first, he sat down with 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield. Inside the clubhouse, he's known as the legend behind the scenes. The man who keeps the Royals radio broadcast going. His name? Don Free. At 6.30, it goes like clockwork. Starting with the team in 1985, never expecting. Oh, heavens no. Heavens no. To still be here for 32 seasons. But now, yeah. as these players warm up for the last game of the season, Don Free yes, one, two, three. is setting up for good. And it's been been my office for 81 games a year. Then <laughs> the road's been my other office. Retiring after his 50th year in broadcast, 32 with the Royals. Don Free. Hi, Rye. <laughs> Does that every day. <laughs> it's this laugh, this personality that has resonated with so many people both on and off the field. Some of his biggest highlights coming from his time with the team. I've, I've seen George Brett hit, hit for, uh, could this do it? Hit for the cycle in Toronto. I saw him getting 3,000 hit in Anaheim. From the Royals drought to playoff games to the World Series. Everybody said, well, you should have won at home. No, you win where you can win. <laughs> and they came back in that one and won it. It was just, it was, it's been fantastic to watch these guys play. Now Free is trading in those magic moments in this booth for a different kind. It is. It's very emotional. Taking in a game, finally, as just a fan. It's just been a great ride. And we're all part of the family. That's what's cool about it. In Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.